Why kids? Today we are going to visit the farm. Do you know what a farm is? So we can all play. Let's make the animals with a 3D printer. Let's go meet my friends, the curious little lamb and the very strong watchdog Luna. They live on the farm. It was very early in the morning. Outside it was still dark and quiet. Suddenly a big rooster goes, which signals to the other animals to wake up. A baby lamb heard the rooster and ran to her mummy sheep whispering into her ear. 
Mommy, mommy, please, can you come outside and play with me? Her mommy replied, No, it's still dark outside and the bird wolf might be hiding nearby. Hmm, the bad wolf? Thought the lamb. If the wolf is out there, I could be eaten. Maybe Luna can keep me safe. The little lamb quickly ran to the doghouse and asked Luna if she would play with it. You are lucky I'm already up, said Luna with a big yawn, stretching her back. I can smell something and I don't like it. It could be the big bad wolf. Stay here and I'll go and have a look. The little lamb listened very carefully as the watchdog disappeared behind the bushes. But then, from nowhere, the fox appeared and greeting the little lamb nicely, taking off his hat. Bonjour, little lamb. How are you this morning? The little lamb was a bit confused, but replied, Luna just ran off to check if the bad wolf isn't around. She is an amazing watchdog. Oui, oui, she is. I need to go now. Look after yourself, little lamb. And as quickly as he came, the friendly fox disappeared behind the farm fence, leaving only the sight of his fluffy orange tail. The little lamb was terrified and couldn't move from her spot. Luna jumped out from behind the bushes. In the distance was a wolf running deep into the forest. Wolf, are you okay, little lamb? But the little lamb just stood there in shock. Uh, uh, was that the big bad wolf? No! 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 Yes, that was the big wolf. And I kicked him in his big toe. You should stay here and not go out without me checking first. <laughs> I need to protect you and all the other animals around here. Said Luna proudly. Protect? Asked the little lamb. Why do you need to protect the animals? Come with me and I'll show you. Encouraged Luna and took her to the chicken house. Do you see all the little chicks and hens inside the chicken house? I know there must be five little chicks and three hens. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. You see, there are eight chicks and hens. And what about the big one on the roof? Asked the little lamb. Oh yes, the rooster. You are a clever girl. I need to make sure that the sneaky fox doesn't take them. Sneaky fox? Asked the little lamb, very surprised. I thought the fox was very friendly. He greeted me this morning and was so nice. The fox was here? He is so sneaky. You see, the wolf looks scary and the animals are afraid of him. But not everyone who looks scary may be evil and not everyone who looks friendly may be good. Like the fox. Last time the fox tricked me. He was so nice and asked me to take a rest promising he will look after the chicken house and I thought he was my friend. But instead he ran into the chicken house and stole five eggs. And every time this happens, the farmer throws an egg on me and I look like this. <laughs> you look so funny. But, but, but that's terrible that the fox stole those eggs. Yes, indeed. Poor hens lay these eggs. When they exercise a lot, then these eggs are very healthy and people like to cook and eat them. They called free range eggs. But sometimes little chicks hatch from these eggs, so I need to protect them from the fox. Do sheep also lay eggs? No, no. Sheep are mammals and mammals don't lay eggs like chicken who are birds. Sheep are important because they produce wool and people use wool to make sweaters and warm clothes. Sheep are sheared with scissors. That is scary. But if I don't have this nice fluffy coat, then I can get very, very cold. Complained the little lamb. People shear sheep only in summer when it's nice and warm. Don't worry. Within one month you have your coat back. Look, the cows are coming out to roam and eat some grass. And what are cows good for? Mainly for their milk. Come, jump over here and look behind this fence. 
The little lamb and Luna jumped on a bale of hay. Can you see those canisters? said Luna whilst they both peeked over the fence. There are so many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and I think it's twelve, thirteen, fourteen. What's inside and why are they here? asked the little lamb. Milk is stored in there until the truck comes. Oh wait, here comes the truck to get the milk canisters. A big truck drove into the yard and parked right in front of the canisters. The farmer came outside and helped the driver to put the canisters up onto the truck. The truck drove away. What happens to all the milk? asked the lamb. It arrives at a big factory where they turn the milk into all of these products like cheese, yogurt, butter, cream. And of course some of the milk gets stored in special bottles or boxes one can buy at a shop. People and other animals love milk. But some people can be allergic to cow's milk, so they use other types of produce like soya beans or rice to make something similar to milk. Being allergic is very dangerous. If someone is allergic, they can get very swollen and even struggle breathing. They must get very quickly to the nearest hospital. Remember that people can also be allergic to some other type of food like nuts, but also to animal fur like those of cats and dogs. There is one animal though that no one is allergic to. Do you know which one? It's Chinchilla, the softest animal in the whole world. Laughed Luna. Look, there is another truck coming! Shouted the lamb. That must be the truck for the eggs. They usually take these eggs to this big bakery not that far from here. I saw it out of the car window when I came with the farmer in his car the other day. Said Luna proudly. Let's go to the stables and check if these horses are safe too. Barked Luna at the little lamb, already jumping over the fence and running to check out if everything was fine with the horses. The little lamb tried to keep up with Luna, who was already happily barking from behind the stables. All in order, said Luna satisfied when looking at the stables. I love this farm, said the little lamb. So many beautiful animals, they are all my friends. I hope you had fun with your new friends, Luna and the Little Lamb. They are super curious to hear from you. So ask your mom or dad to help you write to them. And don't forget to visit our website, whitetoys.com. We love playing with you and making you clever. See you next time. Yeah.